Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode in the Bundesliga career mode. This is episode number 81 and today we start off with the big one. First versus second in the Bundesliga and with 15 games to go, this is a really, really big clash in the race for the title. As you'll see the league table in just a moment's time, we are top with 40 points and our visitors are in second place with 38 points, which means they can go top with a win here tonight. And a question for you guys as well, who do you think will go on to win the Bundesliga title. Only 10 points separate 1st and 8th place and this season could produce one of the most memorable title races ever with multiple teams going for it on the final day of the season. Still with 15 games to go we're hoping that won't happen as we try to pull away from the teams below and distance ourselves from the chasing pack and a win tonight will go a long way in making us look like strong favourites. So come on Hamburg, let's keep the win streak alive and claim a big 3 points. Sane through towards Gerhardt and a chance here on the break if we want to push it. Gerhardt finds Coutinho down its right hand side and across comes the number eight but Coutinho splits two defenders and gets past them both here and still Coutinho on the ball getting inside goes for goal and it's a fantastic save by Karius at his near post. I thought it was going to be tackled so I thought I better get a shot on target but the goalkeeper makes a very good save turns behind for a corner and then the header is a pretty simple save. So first real chance coming to us good save with the goalkeeper though still goalless. And Valente kicks the ball long towards Royce, through towards Holtby, now towards Correa, and that's a good tackle, but Correa has fallen over his man, and he's, I think he's got injured there, Correa, he has, despite him, him just standing up, he's got an injury, and, and now I'm a little bit concerned, because he's stuck in an animation where I can't select him, he, he was supposed to fall on the floor, that was the point, but obviously he couldn't because of the, uh, the fact that Borussia Mönchengladbach man was on the floor himself. So I think Correa might be forced off. We'll have to wait and see, but here's Ritter for Borussia Mönchengladbach, crosses, Danilo gets it away, and Correa is just, Correa is just stuck. Like, Correa is just standing, he's not moving, I don't think, as Coutinho finds Sane, and yeah, he's, he's just stuck, he's just stuck there, and this is really concerning. And so that is it for the first half's worth of action here at the Vox Park Stadion. It is goalless, but the main story of the first half, Angel Correa's injury, is going to be forced off at the break. He won't return for the second half. How severe is that injury? Let's hope it's not too bad. And he's done well to not get injured throughout this series. He's had one minor injury, I can remember. But other than that, he's been totally fine. No severe injuries. I'm very worried. I'm very, very worried. And hopefully, it'll just be like a, a week or a two-week injury. Hopefully, not even that. But we'll have to wait and see. Correa's off. Second half, uh, second half starts now. Let's see if we can get the goal to win the game without our most prolific goal scorer. Here's Hahn for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Plays it towards Brandenburger. And the pair play a 1-2. But Hahn is robbed by Royce. And now a chance on the break here. Coutinho makes the right run. He's been picked out by Royce. Not the best of first touches. But Sane's going on the overlap. Down his right inside. Sane with the no-touch dribble. Through towards Coutinho. He puts it into the back of the net. And it's a first Hamburg goal for Coutinho on the stroke of the hour mark. So no Angel Correa. No problem. Coutinho with the finish. And a really, really nice strike by the Brazilian for his first goal for his new club. He plays it through towards Sane, who holds it up with a no-touch dribble. Coutinho makes the right run. The ball is split through the middle of the two Borussia Mönchengladbach players. And on the first time strike, Coutinho picks out the back of the net and finds, well, the back of the net. So 1-0 to Hamburg. A nice little one to Leroy Sane. I'll be honest here, I think Carriers probably should have saved it. He didn't get anything on it. And I think he might be a little disappointed to be beaten at his near post. So Coutinho with the goal goal 1-0 to Hamburg he scores against what will be his teammate for the new season in real life with Liverpool 1-0 to Hamburg Coutinho's first goal massive massive goal get in it's not been a game for the ages this one but we have the opening goal and that's all that matters as Royce plays it through towards Lewis Holtby inside the area oh Werner I brought you off the bench to score goals not prevent us from scoring them it's a great striker it seemed like it'd be a great strike but Timo Werner deflects it over the bar and diverts it off target so still 1-0 and that should have been two <laughs> should have brought Werner on here is a corner for the away side. Can he get back on little terms? Kiyotake takes it. And the header by Forg and Hazard goes wide. He beat Maswaku in the air there, the Belgian, but could not direct the header goal bound. And it goes off target. So still 1-0, but they'll be coming at us in the final 15 minutes. Can they find an equaliser or will we hold on to the three points? The Cambu through towards Forg and Hazard. Now Herman German off the bench. Finds Kiyotake. Back towards Forg and Hazard. Hazard on the ball. What can he do? We're standing off him. Good ball through towards Kiyotake. Who goes for goal. And that's not too far wide. I think it was actually a cross by Kiyotake there towards the far post. But fortunately, no one was on the end of it. So we still lead by a goal. Ten minutes to go. This shouldn't be easy for us though. 
It's Saul plays it through towards Masawaku. If we can get a second goal, that will kill the game off. But whilst the score remains at 1-0, you never know. Holtby through towards Yannick Gerhardt. Now through towards Coutinho. Coutinho towards Werner. Holds it up here. Coutinho continues his run. He picks out Coutinho. Surely for 2-0. Uh, oh, it's just off the post from Coutinho. And wide. What a great chance there for our second of the game. Coutinho second of the game. Good strike, but just onto the outside of that post. And behind for a goal kick. Almost good night to Bruce Richard Gladbach. And they're going to keep on putting us under pressure as Rodriguez is on the ball. Great ball inside towards Bakambu. Goes for goal and finds the back of the net as well. And with seven minutes to go, that was what I was fearful of. Bakambu rifles it in and the away side are back on level terms. It was a nice ball inside here. Nice little build-up play, really. And a really good finish by Bakambu, who peeled off Nicholas Saul. Maybe Valente will be a little bit disappointed to be beaten at his near post. I think he will, to be honest. But it is a really good finish by Bakambu, in fairness from a tight angle, clipping the underside of the bar, and the number nine has equalised for Borussia Mönchengladbach, and they look as though they are going to claim a point. They've been looking threatening over the past 10 minutes, and Cedric Bakambu gets goal number eight for the season late on to surely rescue a point for the away team. Gutted. Unless we can get one more chance here. No referee blows a full time just as we want the ball back in their half. And that will do it then. So final score here at the Vox Park Stadion. Hamburg won. Borussia Mönchengladbach won. It is a draw for us. A pretty frustrating result because we were holding on to the lead until the final 10 minutes. Coutinho gave us the opening goal of the game with his first goal for his new club. But the Cambu equalised with 10 minutes to go. And the away side do gain a valuable point. So a draw is the final score. One one and I think it's the fair result as well so we remain two points clear at the top of the table we wanted to extend the gap to five but it's not a bad result in the grand scheme of things we'll take the point it was a hard-earned one from both sides and I think it was the fair result too and you can see the stats right here. We did have three more shots and two more on target as well. Possession was heavily in favour of the away side though, who managed to maintain a 93% pass accuracy for the entire game. And I think a draw, I think despite the stats probably saying that we possibly could have edged it with the shots we had, I think the draw was still the fair result. So 1-1 the final score. A uh, man match to me, not entirely sure. I think probably Coutinho to be fair, had a really good game, looked threatening all game long, and of course scored our goal as well. But also the Cambu for Bruce and Gladbach had a great game, didn't misplaced a single pass and also scored their goal as well which was the equaliser so a shared man match between Coutinho and Bakambu who I thought both played very well for their respective clubs and were the reason why both sides left Vox Park Stadion with a point. So a 1-1 draw may not have been the result we wanted, but we'll certainly take not losing at home in the league for the first time and not losing at home for the second time this season in all competitions. A draw isn't bad, it still does keep us top of the table. Unfortunately as well, some good news after the game, we found that Angel Correa's injury is not too serious, it's a sprained knee and he'll be out for three weeks. So he'll miss some big games, we've got some really big ones coming up in the next couple of weeks, but it's not as serious as I was fearful of and a sprained knee is something we can definitely deal with. Timo Vernal stand in, step up and hopefully prove that he's worth his place in the first 11 in Correa's absence. But still, for the second game of today's episode here, we take on 1860 Munich away at the Ali and Arena. So, take on 1860 Munich here away from home in the Deutsche Pokal quarter-final stages. Of course, still resting all of our players in this competition. We may be the holders of it and we'd love to retain it, but it's still the least of our concerns and our least priority in terms of the competitions we want to win. Still, he would open the scoring or so we fought in the 20th minute, but our Tintas was denied by the offside flag. At first, I didn't think he was that offside, but on the replay, it showed that he was well offside, about a mile offside. But uh, still, it was goalless in this game at the breaks, you can see. 31 minutes in, 86 Munich had their first chance of the game, but that shot hit the post and went behind for a goal kick. With a half time, as you can see, apparently there have been zero shots from both sides, but that clearly wasn't true. But in the second half, how about this, just past the hour mark. Now, I've talked about penalty decisions before and said that some are debatable, but this was really really interesting now if you don't give a penalty for this then fair enough I'm not going to say it was a definite penalty I thought it was at the time but maybe it wasn't but answers on the postcard and another question for you guys today how on earth was this a foul by Gideon Young he gets taken down from behind the 1860 Munich man doesn't make connection with the ball at all and just takes down Gideon Young from behind a terrible challenge and if you're not going to give a penalty then okay I'm not going to complain too much because I guess you could possibly argue that it wasn't in, in some way I'm not entirely sure how but 
but maybe you could argue a reason as to why it isn't. But how is that a foul by Gideon Young? I had literally no idea. So let me know in the comment section down below if I've missed something there and you guys can help me out. But it was still nil-nil in this game. And with 30 minutes to go, it looks as though we would go into extra time. But fortunately for us, MTG played the ball through towards our Tintas, starting up top. He had the ball in the back of the net in the first half. It was, of course, disallowed for offside. But for this goal, it was going to get chalked off. A nice little body feint by MTG. Gets himself some room, takes his time, rolls it through towards our Tintas. And our number nine rifles the ball in off the post for his second goal of the season and his first in the cup. So 1-0 to Hamburg. And Mikel had to make a great save as well. 10 minutes for the end to keep us in front. It was a free kick to 1860 Munich just outside the area. A really nice strike. But Mikel shuffles his feet, gets across. And that's a fine save by our standing goalkeeper. Turning the free kick behind for a corner and ensuring we would leave the Allianz Arena with the victory. So final score, 18-60 Munich nil, Hamburg won. We get the win and we are through to the German Cup semi-final. We're still not that fussed about it and we'll almost certainly play a weekend side in that tie as well. But at least we're through. At least we don't suffer the embarrassment of losing to a second tier side. And we do indeed get ourselves through to the penultimate round in the cup competition. But that would end today's episode in the Bundesliga career mode, guys. So a big thank you for watching today's episode. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you enjoyed today's episode, then please leave a like. Like, of course, much appreciated. Of course, it really helps channel grow as well. Much love to you all. I hope you have a fantastic day. And also as well, don't forget, I will be starting a new series on Saturday morning. But for fans of this career mode, don't worry too much. It still will continue until the end of the season, the very least. But thanks for watching this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please do leave a like. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you for the next episode in the Bundesliga career mode very soon.